don't do any sweeping in my studio. It's always either vacuumed or wet mop. Right. So, um, some people love grouting. I absolutely hate it with a vengeance. Um, and I will avoid it at all costs if I can. So, now, the all I'm going to do is just a, um, a white color for this and I'll go back into it. This is from, it's a little kit form that I purchased from Access Glass that I thought I would use today as my grouting demonstration. I have some big gaps in here. They are going to be a problem with grout. That's where you need to add the additive. No, I'm not going to add an additive at the moment because I want to be able to put in colors afterwards. All right, so that's something you have to think about. Art um, mask on, let's get this going. As I said, I'm not going to be too precious about this. I just want you to see how I do this. And I just eyeball it. There is no set eyeball way to for me to do this. I just go for it. So I'm just going to add some water. And again, I am using a knife, not a spoon. Now, the other thing too is that a lot of people at this stage would start adding more water. Don't. What you're trying to do is to mix all that water into those particles so it will bond. I now only need drops of water. This is where people start pouring. I don't ever pour, what I usually do is just sprinkle a little bit of, I can now sprinkle a little bit of water on. Cool. It does look a little bit like feta cheese. So now I'm just going to get my pipette and I'm just going to add just a little bit more. As I said, I like to have mine reasonably stiff. Now I've got those big gaps. Now the reason I don't normally do big gaps, the reason I did big gaps is this is a beginner's kit. And beginners are not going to be able to get into all these gaps and do all the cuts. And that's just something that you go, yeah, I get that. I totally get that. So I'm not going to make anybody's life difficult for them or make them feel inadequate. So we can have that big gap. Although that big gap is going to look pretty, pretty ordinary. We should let this sit and when you let it sit, it actually has a nice little chemical reaction and it's called um, slacking. I think that's the term they use. And it makes sure that all the particles have actually got their water. They're starting to work together. They're combining, they're doing their thing. Give it five minutes. But to this, this is pure grout because I'm going to go back in and color this at a later stage, all right? So there is no additive at slacking. Thank you, girl. <laughs> There is so much I've had to talk about today that, you know when you sit there going, there's a word there and I can't find it, yeah. All right, now, I'm not going to use my knife to press down. A lot of people do that and it's actually not a great idea. I'm just going to wipe this back. The reason it's not a great idea is that your knife is metal and it is going to scratch the surface of your tiles. So it's also really, really hard. Now, the tool that I love, I've got my trowel. All right, this is a foam trowel. It, um, it means that I can apply pressure down. I've got a little pointy end that I can get into corners, but I can press down on this and I'm actually pressing all the grout into those cracks. When I see people usually grouting, they've just got their fingers and they're just pushing it around, which is quite nice. Uh, but it's going to take you forever. When I do this, have a look how quick this is. I'm pressing it all the way down. Now, the other thing too is that I found when um, I'm teaching, I do it in several different directions. Um, and then I can smear it back. So I've already smeared it back. And have a look at how clean that is already. Isn't the color really boring? All of a sudden, it's detracted from this. So using the white is not a great idea. Now, 
Already, we're starting to get this to dry slightly. It's actually getting a little bit of a dust film on it. Now, with this trowel, um, scrub it with soap and water. All right, and that way you will have it for years. They're around about a $15 investment. That was really quick, that was really easy. See around the sides that that grout has been pushed down and it's actually pushed out. So it's got right in, it's protecting all the adhesive. There's now going to be no movement. There are now going to be gaps. Also, when I start rubbing this back, I won't get those pinhole marks. And there are a lot of students that I work with that are not pressing down hard enough. So when they start wiping back, their grout actually starts wiping off. This tool, Bunnings. Now, the cheaper one works best. I have a metal one. and. The problem is the foam deteriorates after a period of time and you can hear the metal touching your tiles. Don't go there. Just buy the cheaper one. It's a foam one. It's fantastic. All right, so it's a great investment, especially for flat pieces when you're working here. I don't like using a damp sponge. It's supposed to keep it's supposed to keep the dust down. All it does, if you don't rinse out your sponge enough, you're putting more water onto your grout. Uh, so when you start putting more water onto your grout, you're actually you're compromising it for want of a better word. The other thing too is it takes longer to clean. And also you are scooping out your grout. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a circular motion. All right, so now I'm just going to rub this back. It takes around about 10 minutes to get this to work. If I had have done this whole piece, it would take me about half an hour. Now, when I had children, what I found was that they would call me at the oddest times and I'd be starting a project and I'm going, I can't stop. If you stop midway through your grouting, you have to finish it off because at the moment, I've got grout in my flowers and I need to get that out straight away is almost clean. How easy was that? Really, really easy. I haven't used water. I haven't made a lot of mess. Now, the mess that I've got here, I'm just gonna be a little bit noisy. Done. So that was really, really, really easy. Now, the next thing I need to do is I'm going to use a toothbrush just to go around um, some of the areas like the flowers. Now, I can use a tool like that to go around them, but what I'm going to do is just use the toothbrush to go around that. Now, this grout is still too wet to do it, but when I'm doing it, there is a bit of dust, the dust mask on, and I have the vacuum cleaner, so I just do a little area. I leave it on my board, and I do little areas at a time when I'm doing this. The toothbrush is really, really handy, and it means that it can get into those areas around your 3D flowers, which works. So um, we can do that. So you can see that that paint, that toothbrush is sprinkling it around. That's where I would tap that on there, get the vacuum cleaner, and continue to vacuum. So I work very, very cleanly. All right, so that is about it for today. So you can see how I don't use any water. I just use the dry cloth. The other thing that I do like to use occasionally, and this is really, really cool. You know how you lose all those socks in your washing machine? This is really cool. Put your hand in so you've got that little sock band hole. And this is where you can just buff that up and it makes it a lot easier when you're working and then you can turn your cloth around and keep doing that. 
Do you only mix the grout in small batches? Yes, because what I don't want to have happen is that the grout dries before I can get into it and clean it off. I do a lot of 3D work and I want to make sure that I get the grout off around the flowers. So I don't smear it over the whole lot first. Also, being a woman, I find pressing down is quite work. So I do different jobs. So grouting and pushing the grout in is one movement. Rubbing around the circle is another movement. Uh, okay, now um, I think we have finished for today. Thank you everybody for watching and for tuning in. This has been a fantastic opportunity to meet everybody. Please subscribe to my YouTube, um, Handmade Studio YouTube. This will be on Handmade Studio, so if there's anything you forget, um, that won't be an issue, it's all there. I will have ongoing little tips and um, other little classes for you to see. And as I said, thank you. <laughs> I'm um, sorry you missed it, but that's okay. I'm just about to have my break. Um, Coralie, my pleasure. I love this so much, Karen. Thank you very, very much for watching. As I said, this has been a wonderful opportunity to meet everybody and to actually talk with you all live on Facebook. Um, usually we're just names on Mosaic Mentoring and all those websites. So to be actually see somebody is, and really talk to them um, has been fantastic. Also to get those questions answered straight away. All right, Sue, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Okay, everybody, thank you very, very much for watching. I'm signing off for now because I'm starting my classes with my students next week. Yay! All right, and uh, be safe. Uh, look after your family. Be kind to yourself when you're doing your artwork and enjoy your creative journey. Okay, bye for now.